Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick Malcolm. I'm the author of The Limit is When You Say Stop and the series of children's books, Peggy Tales. Down below, you'll find links to all my books. I created this channel as a space for individuals to come and hear some positive encouragements. In the days and times we are living, we do need positive encouragements. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, the limit is when you say stop. The sky is not the limit. The limit is when you say stop. Welcome to Tillerist. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you like the content you're getting here, I'm asking you please to like, share, and subscribe. And please, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Today, I want to talk about a dying wish. A dying wish. One of the most amazing moments I've had in my lifetime was the opportunity to have a conversation with a guy who was moments away from dying. Yeah. See, a week before he died, he called me, said he wants to talk to me. So I went over to his house and I was talking to him. And we had all these different conversations, you know. But I remembered one thing he said to me was, you know, as I lay here, on my dying bed I can't help but think about when I was a child I said really he says yeah he says, I can't get my childhood memory out of my head I said what do you mean explain he says because I'm looking back on my life and all I can remember is when I was a young boy all the dreams that I had. I don't remember much that happens in my manhood. I said, really? Why do you think that would happen? You know, how, I mean, what's your explanation? What are you seeing? I said, you know, it went by so fast. I don't remember much of it. Because every day I got up, there was something to do. There was last minute appointments that I had to tend to. But all I kept thinking about is my childhood. Then he paused and he started crying. I said, why are you crying? He said, because God hate me. I said, God hate you? How do you figure he hates you? He says, yes, because he gave me cancer. I said, okay. Hmm. Say God don't love me. If he loved me, he would have never gave me cancer. So then it dawned on me. This is a moment for me to say something to him, to help him to come back to reality. Because see, you gotta be careful what you say to a man when he's at that point. So I asked him. I said, how old are you? He said, I'm 73 years old. I said, okay. He said, who owns this house? He said, I own this house. I said, who are those people walking around this house? He said, that's my family. I said, who's the lady over there standing by the kitchen counter? He said, that's my wife. 
I said, who owns that SUV in the driveway? He says, that's my SUV. I said, are you feeling hungry right now? He says, no. Food is the last thing on my mind. And then I took the opportunity and I said to him, you know, you're 73 years old. You're blessed with a long life because actually a man was given three scores in 10 biblically. So if you live 73 years, that means you're blessed beyond your years. Those people walking around, the lady at the counter said, that's your wife. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. You are blessed to find a wife in your lifetime. Those kids, and your kids, and grandkids, you're blessed to have kids and grandkids. In this house, it's yours. You are never homeless. You had a shelter over your head. In the car in your driveway, you had a means of transportation. And you have a lot of food in your refrigerator and your cupboards. You're blessed, brother. God never hated you. He gave you everything you ever wanted. Then he paused again and started crying. And he said to me, and this was out of shock, you are so right. It took me all these years to realize how blessed I've been. And here I am on my dying bed, mad at myself, thinking my life was a wreck. And then I said to him, if you could make a wish right now, what would it be? And he said to me, if I could just have one more day, I would spend it with the kids and the grandkids in the backyard. I would have a barbecue. Yeah. I would make them everything they like that is their favorite. That's all I would want right now, just to sit out in the sun and feel the breeze. You notice? He never asked for a car. He never asked for more money. He never asked for anything material. All he wanted was one more day. Not to make more money, but to spend it with the family, yeah? We gotta think. Each day is a blessing, yeah? You know, sometimes people have a way of saying, today is such a bad day. It's never a bad day. Bad things happen. A good day. Every day is a good day. Anyway, a few days later, the wife called me again. She said, he's about to go. He wants to talk to you again. And I walked over to the house. And I remember going up the stairs, going down the hallway, wondering to myself, what else does he have to talk about? As I turned the room and looked at him, he was all pale. He was worse than the way he looked a few days before. And I said to him, hey, how you doing, man? He said, I'm dying. He said, oh, come on, man, you're not dying, bro. You're gonna feel better. You know, you're going to go fishing. He says, no. 
by tomorrow this time. I've been long gone. I just wanted you to be here to tell you how much I appreciated you being the friend you've been to me all these years. I like the way you are. I like the way you take care of your property. Yeah. You're an inspiration to me. I just want to let you know that. Like, thank you, man. You know, for a guy who was like almost three times my age to hear him say that, I was like, wow. You know? It was amazing. Then he said to me, the one thing that I'll never forget. He says, you know, as I lay here on my dying bed, there's one thing I will never forget. So what is that? He says, all those days when I was rushing to go places and do things, I was just rushing to get here. So slow down. Enjoy your day. Enjoy nature. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy precious moments. So as you see all this around me, I'm leaving it all behind. I can't take it with me. All I have is memories. Yeah, memories. His dying wish was just to have one more day. So the next time you feel like you're having a bad day, just remember somewhere there is somebody hoping, praying, wishing they could have that day. You call a bad day. Slow down. Take care of yourself. Spend some time with you. Get to know you. Enjoy you. Because you're just passing through. Nothing, no one, lasts forever. And remember, the limit is when you say stop. The sky is not the limit. The limit is when you say stop. See you in the next video.